Hey everyone, this side Rohit Pandey, CPC certified. So guys, uh, those who are visiting my channel for the first time, kindly share, subscribe my video. And now I'm going to share my screen to you. So, okay. Okay, so our today topic is digestive system. So again, welcome to the Malady Talk. This side, Rohit Pandey, CPC Certified Medical Coder. So guys, today we are going to learn about digestive system. I mostly, uh, I completed few, you know, uh, anatomical part. So there are uh, four or five system I already covered. You can go and watch uh, those as well. Okay. Now I'm making a series of all the organic organ systems, uh, human organ system. Okay. So you can go and follow it. So guys, uh, today uh, we are, uh, uh, I mean, learning about digestive system. So organs of gastrointestinal tract, oral cavity, Pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, anus. Accessory organs are pancreas, liver, gallbladder. Okay, so and salivary gland. These are accessory organs. Okay, these are main organs. Here you can see uh, in pictures that it is salivary gland. Okay, let me. This part is salivary gland. Here you can see tongue. Okay. And above that teeth. Then here you can see salivary gland. Esophagus, and here, if uh, you, uh, when I just, uh, where we, uh, respiratory system, here you can see a trachea as well. Okay. This is stomach. Here you can see liver. This is gallbladder. Pancreas. Large intestine. This is large intestine. That part is called appendix. Okay. This one is rectum. That one is anus. And this is a small intestine. Okay. You can see. Now. Also called as gastrointestinal system. Next, gut, alimentary canal. Approximately 30 feet of continuous muscular tube between mouth and anus. From there, this part to this, it is like 30 feet long, you know. 30 feet long continuous muscular tube between the mouth and anus. Okay. Function of digestive system. Uh, I think, uh, am I skipping something? No. This all known as uh, gastrointestinal system. Okay. And now between, I already show these things. Now, for function of digestive system, digested food. It firstly digest food. We just took out, uh, have our food from our mouth, and just is go, uh, goes to uh, stomach, then small intestine and large intestine, and finally our uh, waste material come out from the uh, rectum part. Okay, function of digestive system. It digested food. Absorb nutrients, nutrients, 
okay eliminating waste i already told you okay it absorb uh, nutrition that's why our body is able to work okay that's why we need food so it can ab absorb nutrition and our body will function uh, our body is similar like uh, when uh, uh, like our car or scooter when we put uh, you know cng or uh, or petrol diesel material in that then it will work similarly with our body okay so uh, there uh, mm -hmm. when petrol and uh, cng and everything whatever material we just uh, give to that uh, motorcycle okay or bike so it burns and then motorcycle works similarly with human body our food burns inside okay it uh, absorb nutrition and then uh, it goes to whole body okay in the form of energy and all so our body will work here you can see oral cavity okay that part is hard palate that part is hard palate okay nasal cavity that one is nasal cavity that part is hard palate this is nose here you can see nose this is lips that one okay this is lips salivary gland i already showed this is soft palate okay in mouth when you open mouth you can easily see this these parts okay uh, it is tongue like this this is tongue okay that is the larynx voice box uh, yesterday we just uh, taught about it uh, this i already taught about this uh, larynx is voice box okay and this is oral cavity uh, this is salivary gland and this is salivary gland okay so now you can understand what is oral cavity and what is the uh, uh, different part of the oral cavity okay roof of the oral cavity is palate okay i already showed heart palate okay roof of the oral cavity when you open your mouth and touch your tongue towards up, up then that is called palate heart palate when you just uh, put your tongue uh, inside then you just realize that uh, beside the heart palate there is a soft palate okay now hard bony anterior soft flexible posterior hard bony anterior okay and soft flexible posterior hanging down from soft palate is uvula you Uv uvula okay that uh, boxing punch when you open your mouth then you can see a boxing punch like uh, structure that part is called uvula uvula helps in speech production cheeks are located in lateral side lips are located in anterior side i already showed you in picture and you can easily understand these uh, terms entire cavity is lined with a mus mucus membrane okay teeth are of two types decidus teeth i mean baby teeth and another one is permanent teeth adult teeth replaced by 32 permanent teeth okay function mechanically break down of food by chewing tongue has two buds which detect bitter sweet salty and sour flavor you know that tongue have different taste buds there are a lot of taste buds and there are area also divided like the uh, front area have different taste and uh, side one have different and last one have different so our tongue has taste bud which detect bitter sweet salty and salt flavor sour flavor okay pharynx the pharynx a common passage uh, way for solid food liquid and air okay so 
internal near you can see then here is oral cavity that part is uvula i already show uh, told you about that uh, uh, when you open your uh, mouth then you just see a boxing punch like uh, you know uh, punching box like you know then that is that part is uvula okay and uh, down what this you can see this one uh, inside epiglottis larynx is like voice box and then esophagus for food fo like food pipe okay uh, upside of esophagus you can easily uh, see the reason of the pharynx that is like uh, nasopharynx which is divided into three nasopharynx okay oropharynx and laryngopharynx which is uh, near to larynx uh, larynx that's why it is called laryngopharynx okay it is uh, nearer to oral than oropharynx and it is nearer to nasal so it is called nasopharynx okay the swallowed food enter oropharynx and the laro laryngopharynx okay oropharynx and laryngopharynx okay when a uh, food uh, you know when we chew food these are teeth when we chew food and just uh, take out inside uh, i mean take inside then we can easily see it not touches nasopharynx it suddenly go to oropharynx and laryngopharynx because that pharynx part is similar for uh, nasal and for oral and then it divided into two one is larynx and another one is esophagus okay sorry epiglottis epiglottis it cover larynx trachea and shuts shunts food away from lungs and into esophagus so that part is uh, epiglottis uh, helps uh, to i mean help that uh, uh, that food will not go to the lungs and similarly air will no air uh, i mean it helps uh, in separation of both the things you know that uh, larynx and that uh, esophagus part epig uh, esophagus esophagus here you can see that one is trachea okay airway part and after pharynx okay the upper esophagus spinster spinster okay it is like uh, when you put a uh, plate uh, uh, upward to a uh, you know bowl it is similar like that if you put a plate towards the bowl then we can't uh, put uh, any water and anything inside so similarly it uh, i mean when you just took food then it like is in, uh, that is spinster close itself okay and there you can see lower esophageal spinster okay there that is diaphragm and that is stomach it is 10 inches long muscular tube okay that tube esophagus is like 10 inches long muscular tube as food enters from uh, pharynx to esophagus delivers to stomach okay when it enters from this and food enter inside uh, stomach and it is 10 inches long muscular tube it pushes the food by wave uh, like movements called peristalsis peristalsis uh, i can show you how it works here you can see like this i mean this okay when food come inside then it pushes then uh, it opens then go you know this way okay when food enters in this side and it pushes itself 
then it will close and another one opens okay like this it pushes the food by wave like movement called peristalsis uh, peristalsis okay peristalsis stomach here you can see stomach there are different layers okay uh, that first layer is fundus then uh, serosa that is body lumen here you can see lumen rugae of mucosa greater curvature pyloric anterior and that is pyloric canal pyloric spinster spinster valve it is like valve at pylorus duodenum okay lesser curvature and that is greater curvature oblique layer okay that is circular layer there are different layers you know longitudinal layer muscular layers muscular is external then it is esophagus okay it is j shaped organ here you can see j shaped j shaped organ collects and kerns the food mixes with hcl hydrochloric acid and form chyme is mixed of food and digestive juices it has three reason one is fundus okay and then body part and antrium okay so that whole thing makes uh, stomach uh rugae are lining of uh, here uh, where we saw yes that rugae of mucosa are lining of stomach allows the stomach to expand with food okay when we have uh, more food then it expand itself instead of bursting itself you know spins uh, spinsters are muscular wall control uh, flow of food okay here you can see sometime when upper that uh, spinster is not working then it is make a disease called gerd gastroesophageal reflux uh, disease okay when uh, whole uh, hcl and uh, a few uh, material of uh, stomach go upward okay small intestine here you can see small intestine and that one is large intestine so uh, small intestine have three things uh, duodenum which is at the end of the stomach and then duodenum whole part duodenum and at the end of a uh, small intestine that is ileum which ileum connected to large intestine okay and duodenum stomach to small intestine connect it has three parts duodenum first part about 10 to 12 inches long start at pyloric spinster you can see there okay pyloric spinster you can see yes that one pyloric spinster okay and then here it has three parts duodenum first part about 12 uh, 10 to 12 inches long start at uh, that uh, pyloric spinster okay duodenum second part here you can see duodenum okay it is about 8 feet long and third part is ileum about 12 feet long and connect to colon that is uh, large intestine with uh, ileo ileo cecal valve large intestine here you can see large intestine here you can see part of large intestine ascending colon transverse colon descending colon okay and between the the uh, their other name as well like uh, cecum here you can see cecum that is proximal part that is distal part okay so ascending colon and between ascending colon and transverse colon where the connection is that is called hepatic flexure when i was uh, giving uh, i mean jab, uh, when i was uh, went to interview 
and they asked same question to me that uh, uh, just describe about the large intestine then and sudden they ask uh, that question as well hepatic flexure splenic flexure and a sigmoid colon okay so they asked question about uh, these terminologies also okay it is 5 feet long extend from ileocecal valve to anus here you can see anus okay fluid that remain after digestion and absorption enter colon okay reasons of colon are appendix here you can see up that part is appendix okay then ascending colon okay transverse colon uh, descending colon that is sigmoid colon rectum and anus rectum and anus that part is uh, rectum and that opening is called anus rectum is the storage of fe feces and it leads to anus it is the external opening of elementary canal okay rectum is the storage of fe uh, feces you can say it is like waste uh, and it leads to anus it is the external opening of elementary canal external opening like here it opens and just uh, we just flush out the uh, ficus or uh, waste material accessory uh, organs we already discussed that is parotid uh, gland submandibular gland sublingual gland salivary gland salivary gland they produce saliva allow food to be swallowed and contain amylase amylase gallbladder here you can see gallbladder that one is liver and that is pancreas here you can see big picture uh, that is liver that is green color is uh, you know gallbladder and yellow one is like pancreas and here in skinny color or in pink color you can see uh, stomach so liver Located in the right upper quadrant, as you know that we uh, just uh, divide that abdominal part, we divide it into four or nine quadrant. Okay. So here you can see right upper quadrant region of abdomen produce bile. Okay. It is like juice and break up large fats into small droplets. So here you can see liver located in the right upper quadrant region of the abdomen produces bile. Bile is a juice and break up large fats uh, into small droplet. Gallbladder locates under the liver and stored bile. Okay. So it is located under the liver, inside the liver. Okay. Not inside, under the liver. Okay, and storage, uh, stored bile, whatever bile made by the liver, it is stored by gallbladder. Then pancreas located behind the stomach. Okay, behind the stomach, it is, uh, pre uh, it is present and release enzymes, digest carbohydrates, lipids, okay, and protein. So locate behind the stomach, here you can see stomach and you can see pancreas is located behind the stomach and release enzyme, digest carbohydrates, lipids and protein. Now we come on the word roots. It is my favorite uh, thing. I need to learn and uh, you have to learn. You know, it is uh, very important. In every video, I mentioned this and I'm again mentioning that, that it is important part. If you learn this thing, then it will be good for you because when you solve the charts, uh, when you become a medical coder, then you solve chart, then it will be easy for you that you can break the words and easily understand without Googling it. Okay. So appendo, appendo is for appendix. Pole is for bile or gall. Okay. Anno is for anus. Gastro is for stomach entro is for small intestine i am again repeating this because it is important so appendo means appendix pole means bile or gall 
एनो मीन्स एनस गैस्ट्रो मीन्स स्टमक एंड्रो मीन्स स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन पैथोलॉजी ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम सो गर्ड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू अबाउट गर्ड गैस्ट्रो इसोफेजियल रिफ्लक्स डिजीज एसिड फ्रॉम द स्टमक फ्लो बैक इन टू द इसोफेगस कॉजिंग pain inflammation so i need to show you in google actually i did need e okay so okay. i need to open chrome so i will google so it will be easy for you to understand these terminologies gastroesophageal reflux disease known as gerd occurs when stomach acid repeatedly flow back okay into the tube containing your mouth and stomach this backwash acid reflux can irritate the lining of esophageal you know uh, here you can see that when that is pinster we i think uh, i i don't know i pronounced it in a right way or not so uh if i am wrong then kindly correct me in comment spinster i think let me open new tab According to Medline West, the lower esophageal sphincter at the top of the stomach regulates food passing from the esophagus into the stomach and prevents the contents of the stomach from re-entering the esophagus. The pyloric sphincter at the bottom of the stomach governs the passage of food out of the stomach into the small intestine. According to Medline West, the lower esophageal sphincter at the top. Spin spinster. Spinster. बोलते हैं इसे. I mean, we call it spinster. Okay, so here you can see that if that spinster is not working, so suddenly what happened? Whatever in the uh, stomach it reflects back. Okay, and what happened if that reflects? I mean, it cause irritation uh, to the lining of your esophagus. Okay. Another one is gastric carcinoma. Carcinoma is like uh, cancer, okay, mal malignant tumor in stomach. IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, disturbance in function of uh, intestine. That is called irritable bowel syndrome. Cholesis, uh, cholelithiasis, okay. So presence of gallstone. Lithis is is like a uh, stone, and chole is for gallbladder. Okay, so presence of Gall stone, okay. Cholecystitis, okay. Chole is for gall bladder, okay. Itis for inflammation. Inflammation of gall bladder is called cholecystitis. Hepatitis, hepatitis. Hepato means liver, and itis means inflammation. Inflammation of liver usually due to viral infection. That is called hepatitis. Now we are at the end of the video. If you like it, then kindly share and subscribe with uh, those who really need these videos. Okay, I'm regularly after my uh, ending of job. You know, I am doing job. So after doing job, I make uh, PPTs and then you know then record my video. So it will take a lot of time to make this video. So kindly appreciate that work. Okay. my work and uh, kindly share with the, those who really need these videos and please 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 subscribe this video and there is uh, i mean i need to show you one more thing okay
one thing I need to show you. Now you can go to my channel and you can join membership membership as well it is like uh, in 59 rupees you can join group okay you can join a uh, group okay and here is join button you can just go over there and you can see there is three categories like medical don medical guru and medical rowdy okay so you can enroll that 59 rupees per month here you can get a lot of things okay membership live chats with you priority videos and these kind of ba uh, bandages and uh, and uh, emojis as well okay so you can join my channel as well and you can see uh, on your demand i will make videos and you can chat me anytime okay and you can go to store and you can see uh, medical related t-shirts, stickers, uh, bag, cup. You can see over there. Okay. So you can easily see it and you can buy it also. Okay. It is uh, delivered all over India. You can go uh, from this link and you can buy anything. Okay. It is all designed by us, our team. Okay, kindly go and join our membership and as well as uh, visit our store as well. Okay, and try to buy product as well. Okay, so I hope uh, you will like this video and uh, appreciate my work as well. And I hope uh, I'm at the end of the video. So I'm really thankful to you and uh, have a nice day.